1993, Nelson Mandela was out of jail. South Africa was hit, rushing headlong to its first democratic elections. Uh, most, a lot of people were leaving, and, and there were people buying tin food and bottled water. The press was talking about the revolution about to happen, and we bought a bit. Um, I think the American term might have been we bought the farm. It was close. And we took a view that buying a vineyard at that time would have been the very best investment we could ever have made. And thankfully it has been. It's been a remarkable lifestyle, a remarkable opportunity. 17 years later, still new kids on the block, first generation. I have to tell you, the wine business, I think, is ideally suited to about a fifth generation. You really, you really want to get it from your parents, parents, parents. That's, that's where it really starts to work well. But we set about making wine and making Chenin Blanc with the difference. And for me, the ultimate goal was to produce a Chenin that was absolutely unique in style, rich, full, extracted, concentrated, and a wine which was going to last for a long time. We've been fortunate enough to present 10 vintages of vertical tasting of this wine just in this last month to the press in South Africa. We presented 10 vintages of the FMC. And the name FMC, the Forest of Mine at Chenin, I, as I said, came into this from a whole different part of the world. And Martin Minot, who's one of the great winemakers in South Africa, really good friend of mine, I asked him from the very outset to consult and to work with us on these wines. So this was really a tribute to him, an homage to him, to be able to say this was kind of his talent, his technique. Um, it's a wine which it has been dubbed to have the uh, ballet prowess of a rugby player. Uh, so. <laughs> 